My name is Davor and I'm a Master of Education student at UBC. Uh, today we will be talking about energy. And you may know about the law of conservation of energy which says that energy can neither be created nor destroyed. It can only be transformed from one form to another. And so for example in the morning when you eat breakfast you get energy from the chemical energy from the food. And that energy powers you and you walk around during the day, you have kinetic energy. Um, you get hot, you have heat energy, right? And today I'll be showing you how, um, using these balls, how we can transform energy from one form to another. Now when I smack these balls together, I give them kinetic energy as they move. And as they hit, they, st they stop. So where does that ki kinetic energy go? Well, we know some of it goes into sound energy because we can hear it. And as we smack them together, the, this causes vibrations in the molecules in the air which vibrate your eardrum and that's why you can hear it. That's where the sound energy goes. But there's also other energies that are created when I do this. Um, one of them is heat energy and uh, I'm going to demonstrate that using this piece of paper and uh, an assistant. <laughs> All right. So my assistant's going to hold that piece of paper here, and I'm going to smack the balls together. Excuse me. Before you do that, we'll show that there is nothing on this paper. It's regular paper. Yeah. No, no magic tricks here. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to smack the balls uh, with the piece of paper in between them. Can you see what happened? There's a big hole, and if you smell, you'll be able to smell some burning paper in the air. Uh, yeah. Uh, if you focus on the hole, you might be able to see little burn marks around the edges. So what happened when I smacked the balls together is the kinetic energy was transformed into heat energy, which burnt the paper on impact. Uh, let's try it again. Let's try one more. Okay, you like smacking. Yes. <laughs> You see, now we can use uh, something else uh, to help us show um, the sound energy that we're creating when we smack. Here I have some aluminum foil. Again, no holes or anything on it. And again, I'm going to smack the balls with the foil between the balls. And if you look close, maybe on the other side, it's better to see you can see there's some concentric rings in the foil. Um, and wh what that shows is the shock wave that it was created as I smacked the balls together, out from the point of contact coming out in concentric rings. So we've shown that we can transform um, kinetic energy into sound energy and heat energy. Let's maybe do it again to show once again the sound waves. How? All right. Once again, and you can see we've created concentric rings in the aluminum foil. And what we're going to do now, we're going to try, and it's really useful to use a magnifying glass with the students. Let's try if we can use the magnifying glass here. Maybe we can increase the size so you can see better the concentric circles. But even if it's hard to see in the video, what we recommend you to do is, when you show it to the students, bring the magnifying glass with you, so each one of them can have a piece of aluminum with them, and they can explore it on their own after your demonstration. Thank you, Davor. Thank you.